Taking a little side tour to the next town over. I've got to go pick up my uh, mount for the whitetail that I got this year. I sent it to John's taxidermy, uh, European mount taxidermy, have European mount done of it, and it uh, should come out pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. Respectable little deer. I shouldn't say little, respectable deer all the way around. Certainly worth getting that done and uh, putting in the house. I got all the J channel up on uh, both gable ends and uh, it's a good thing because it's uh, 19 degrees and as you can tell there's a good wind so it is uh, a little bit cold out here. So for today I'm going to call it. We'll start on the uh, actual soffit panels and <clears throat> hopefully get up the uh, fascia strips as well here uh, in the next few days. Just got to wait and see what the weather does. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with today. Like I said, I picked up my deer skull and I got uh, got all the J channel up. So I'll take that as a win. It's always good to have one. Well, I'm back at it today to try and see if I can get the uh, gable ends uh, soffit stuff done even with the snow and the ladder work I'm a little it's a little sketchy and I'm a little bit concerned about falling off that thing but still got to get it done so we'll get at it we got a uh, storm coming in and of course it's windy and about 28 degrees so it's a little cold out anyway we'll get started with it and see what we can get done and snow is not making this any fun for uh, at all I'm trying to get it uh, trying to get it going here I've got a little bit done but uh, yeah I'm really struggling with this shit Despite the cold and the weather, with each painstaking effort, I get closer to my goal of creating a debt-free farm and homestead. This work has not been easy, 
and it certainly has been a challenge trying to figure out all the different angles and things that we need to do in order to make this Safed piece work together. This particular project has been no exception to the rule and has proven to me that with time and some energy in trying to sort it out, I will eventually figure out how to get it to work together and look nice and clean when it's done. Coming from the flats to this uprise in the gables has proven to be one of the biggest challenges I've had with the soffits, and one that actually took a lot of brain work for me to sort out and figure out. With each day and with each step, I get closer towards my goal. It brings me a great deal of joy and satisfaction to see the progress that I make as I move through this. And while I'm not a professional builder, I'm quite satisfied with my work to this point.
scars, bruises and broken heart. Numbed all the pain. Show me how to heal, and now I don't feel broken. Conversation with my dad about the soffits because it's not something he had heard of, and he had worked with my grandfather and his brother uh, in his youth uh, building houses, and so uh, not something that is used a lot in California. Um, as I was explaining to him, you see it a lot here uh, in the northern areas uh, because of snow, and it also has to do with how uh, venting for the roof is done. Uh, a lot of houses in California and in southern areas of the country uh, use a gable and vent, which would sit right in here on the actual trusses um, and allow airflow into the attic. Uh, you see that a lot on stucco homes <clears throat> and a lot of uh, uh, Pueblo style homes. With these, <clears throat> because heat comes in uh, through the ends, the soffits are designed, one, to keep cre creatures out, but also allow airflow up and across the uh, roof, roof line up to, the, to this, which is the uh, uh, ridge vent. So everything here vents out of the top of the uh, roof of the structure. So there you go. A little bit of explanation as to why I'm putting in soffits. Working during the winter in northwestern Montana certainly has its challenges. If it's not snow and ice, you're dealing with mud and rain and cold temperatures no matter what. But it made me laugh thinking of a poem that somebody sent me, and it goes a little something like this. It's winter in Montana, and the gentle breezes blow, 70 miles an hour at 35 below. Oh, how I love Montana when the snow's up to your butt. You take a deep breath of winter air, and your nose gets frozen shut. Yet the weather here is wonderful, so I guess I'll hang around. I never could leave Montana because I'm frozen to the ground. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day. And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two
Good part is I got all of the gable end soffits up and uh, in place. They look pretty nice. I'm pretty pleased with how that went, uh, despite the uh, fact that I was battling with the ice and snow and mud. I uh, still have a lot of uh, mud on the backside, and we'll get to that next. In next week's video, that's my plan, is to finish off the uh, gable end fascia on the back end of the shop and also put up all of the actual fascia along the edge here. Uh, and that will complete that part of this whole process of getting the soffits installed. If you like this sort of thing, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, please share this video if it would be possible. And by all means, uh, put comments below. I love getting the comments and I love being able to respond back and inter interact with uh, all the community. So once again, thanks for watching.